Hello guys, let's talk about PostgreSQL database in Laravel. It's not the most popular database, it's not even in the top three according to the state of Laravel, but it got a lot of attention in 2025 when Taylor tweeted this. When launching Laravel Cloud, the first choice of the database was not MySQL, which is the most popular in Laravel, but they chose PostgreSQL instead for early access. They did launch MySQL later, but still, why PostgreSQL? And also during Laracon EU, Jess Archer from the Core Laravel team told on stage that they use Postgres for Nightwatch as well. And also, if you look at trends, I've Googled a few of them, PostgreSQL is on the rise and MySQL is in a bit of a decline. So is PostgreSQL a better choice for Laravel developers? I've made some research, tried it out, benchmarked, and wrote a really big article tutorial on Laravel Daily. And in this video, I will summarize it for you, the main things that you need to know. So here's the plan. We will talk about why you may choose PostgreSQL, how to configure that for new projects in Laravel, is it worth migrating from MySQL to PostgreSQL? And is it actually faster? So this will be a summary video. Some part of that tutorial is for premium members of Laravel Daily with more benchmarks, syntax differences with raw queries and PostgreSQL function analysis, which are not present in MySQL, but I hope from this video you will get the main point and the main ideas. So first, kind of the short version of why you may want to use PostgreSQL. First, in some cases it is faster, and we'll talk about that, then it has extra features like JSON, UUID, and other support. Then it has specific data types like arrays or ranges, and also has larger extension system for extra features like geographical data management. But those extra features aside, this is the main thing that you need to understand. For simple project, for majority of projects, you would not actually feel the difference, except for the cases where you specifically use extra PostgreSQL features. So if you work with MySQL and you're happy with that, and you don't need specific PostgreSQL beneficial features, in most cases, it's not beneficial to switch because switch is not that easy. However, for new project, it's easy to start with PostgreSQL if you want to try it out. So officially Laravel supports five databases, including Postgres. So first you need to, of course, install PostgreSQL manually. And I used DB Engine on my MacBook here. And also, for example, Laravel Forge and other VPS providers offer PostgreSQL with various versions. So it's not a problem to have PostgreSQL on your web server as well. And then configuration in .env file. This is the default MySQL configuration, local, and what changes in PostgreSQL, different DB connection driver, different defaults for the port and username if you install it just without password, but it depends on your installation. But basically you don't need to install any drivers, packages, or anything special into Laravel to use PostgreSQL. Now, migrating existing project from MySQL to PostgreSQL is a different story. To be honest, I haven't done it myself ever, just didn't need that. But from what I've read online, I've made some research. This is probably the best article that I found on this. I will link that in the description below and you may read it in full. But look how long it is. Just I will scroll down with a lot of things to consider about different types and different syntax for PostgreSQL. Basically, the main thing that you need to understand that if you export the data from MySQL, there's no guarantee that it will successfully be imported in PostgreSQL with all the data saved correctly. There's a tool called PG Loader. This is how it looks and this is recommended for migration from not only MySQL but also other databases. But again, from what I've read online, it doesn't magically work out of the box the first time. So especially if you have live database with a lot of data incoming to MySQL, it may be quite a challenge to migrate to PostgreSQL. Now let's talk about performance and speed. I've tested various queries on one pretty big project. In one of the courses in the past, I had bookings and apartments, kind of like Booking.com or Airbnb project. And in here, I've seeded those two database tables with this amount of records. And I've created two identical databases, MySQL and PostgreSQL. And in this video, I will show you two benchmarks. The first benchmark was just a simple query that uses join, select, where, order, buy, so nothing really fancy here. And I used benchmark DD from Laravel running it 10 times to measure, 
and here are the results. So from those hundreds of thousands of records in the database, the result of that query in MySQL is 1.5 milliseconds and PostgreSQL 2.5 milliseconds. So the difference in percentage is pretty big, but actually it's milliseconds. In majority of cases, you wouldn't feel that difference. So wouldn't classify that as MySQL being faster. But now let's take a look at a second example, get random bookings. When I add it in random order to both databases, look at the difference in the result. 500 milliseconds in MySQL and only 189 milliseconds in PostgreSQL. So almost three times faster. This is impressive. And this is an example of different syntax in raw queries. So rand and random is different. In MySQL, it's order by rand under the hood. So Laravel transforms that in random order to different syntax depending on the database. So order by rand is MySQL syntax and order by random is PostgreSQL syntax. And then I also try to run those specific SQL queries locally in my table plus outside of Laravel and the same result almost three times faster. So there's no overhead of Laravel with Eloquent, but the difference on SQL level is still the same, almost three times. And in a few more benchmarks that I've tried for PostgreSQL that include raw functions, specific functions for PostgreSQL, like handling dates and others, PostgreSQL was also faster. So this is kind of the overall conclusion, but if you want to see more benchmarks and also raw queries and also specific functions of PostgreSQL in details. The full tutorial, the full article will be available for premium members of Laravel Daily. This is a constant debate for me actually. If I spend roughly a week in this case on researching something, what do I release for free or for premium members? So in this case, I kind of cut that tutorial in half. So this is what you get for free and I will link that tutorial in the description below and you can read that first half from that you can make a conclusion and if you want more details this is for premium members so conclusions are these first postgresql indeed is faster if you use specific postgresql features functions and optimizations some of them at least in my benchmarks but if you run only typical eloquent queries without raw queries you might not feel the difference in performance, especially on smaller databases. But if you want to try it out, it is very easy to configure in Laravel for new projects. So you may try new projects on PostgreSQL without making any damage to existing projects because that's conclusion number three. Existing project migration to PostgreSQL is pretty tricky and I would advise you to do it only if you really know what you're doing and why. What do you think? What is your experience with PostgreSQL? Maybe I misinterpreted something or missed something. Let's discuss in the comments below as usual. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.